Hey guys, Rich Morse with Stabila. Today I'm on a job site. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off this foundation by checking it for square using our lasers. What I'm gonna do for our square portion is I'm gonna go ahead and use our layout station. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to use our LAR 350 for top of wall heights. I just wanna show you how efficient the grade rod is. This is also a multi-purpose laser. The reason being, the vertical, horizontal, dual slope, and it'll do a 90 degree layout. The layout station is gonna give you 180 degrees of layout lines plus give you a horizontal benchmark. I'm just gonna show you how both of them operate. Getting your job started is square. Establishing a layout is the most important part, any job. What you're gonna see is the duration of this project. I'm gonna go start to finish just using Stabila products, just to show you that we've got levels and lasers for every one of the trades. Let's get started and find out if this foundation's square before we send the crew out here. Okay guys, what we're gonna do to get started here is I've got the LA-180 layout station. It's our radio frequency controlled laser. What it means is that a push of a button, the laser's gonna auto align. The receiver and the laser are gonna talk to each other. What this can allow to do is give us a one man square. No more traditional two man, 30, 40, 50. So what I'm gonna do is set the laser on a first control line. I'm gonna go the long length of the foundation, and then I'll pick up the short wall. So here we go. I'm gonna measure into five and a half inches in both directions. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm going to measure to the inside of my plates. Sometimes you'll have these jogs in and out because of the concrete forms flare in and out. This is gonna be my straightest shot. Then I'll snap those lines once I establish the square. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the layout station. I have a beam range and I can read my receiver at 150 feet. At the push of a button, it's gonna to start to talk. Lock on the control line. Here we go. Now what's going to happen? I've armed the receiver. It's gonna to start to talk to the laser. The laser's gonna sweep over. It's gonna lock on the receiver. This establishes that control line in about 10 to 15 seconds. As you can see, the layout station just locked on. We have a solid green tone. We're directly over five and a half inch mark. So now what we could do is we could go ahead and mark multiple portions of the foundation. As I pick up my receiver, I'm going to pick up these little jogs before I establish the rest of the layout. So now we're at the other side of our foundation. This is the shorter run. Uh, the back wall is right around 130 feet long. This is 71 feet long on the short run. I'm gonna turn on my receiver. We have this little crow's foot indicator, which allows me to get a defined mark, an exact mark. So what I've done is I measured five and a half inches. If you look where I actually measured in at, I'm actually about six inches in from the outside corner. What tends to happen on foundations is that outside corner flares out a little bit. Uh, but just because of the way the concrete forms sit, they're not perfect all the way in. You'll get a little flare. So I measure in a little bit. That's where I establish my first five and a half inch benchmark. So here we go. Line up on my control mark. Right now, the way the target's hitting, I'm about a quarter inch off. Foundation, this run, you're not really going to pick up on a quarter inch over a run. We can make some adjustments. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and mark the perfect night. Just so I have it as a reference for when I do my framing. What I could do is I could split that, make up that little bit of difference. I could shift my plates an eighth of an inch. Uh, it's not going to hurt. We got a little bit of slag on this foundation. So if my plate's hanging out that little eighth of an inch, our siding and all, all of our sheathing is going to fly by the foundation a little bit. It's going to be okay. That's the fast way to establish it. it. Takes you less than probably three to five minutes total time to get your foundation square right out of the gate. One man. As you can see, as I walked around this foundation, we got some bay windows. We have a few jogs in the foundation. So I got the opportunity now, if I want to use these as our control marks and start to pull off of these lines, I can. Establish them, pull off the rest of my layout. What I do know is my foundation is good. I could get started. When I go to my garage upper portion where the T-wall comes in, because it's the LA-180, I can set the laser up there and shoot 180 degrees of layout as well. As I get started through my garage openings, I will set my layout station again. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna show you how the elevation rod works, top of wall elevations, using the LER 350.